Hey everybody, Sean from SP Productions here, back today with another video. And today we're gonna to be unboxing the Hasbro Black Series Boba Fett helmet. Hasbro's really been stepping up their game with more accurate replica helmets. I think a lot of folks were super stoked when they saw they were gonna tackle the Boba Fett helmet. But let's dive in. So attached to the top here, you've got the range finder. Off here. So yeah, just taking it out of the bag, uh, I'm speechless for, again, a mass produced, you know, toy version of the Boba Fett helmet. I mean, the details I'm seeing on this thing are already pretty incredible. I mean, just the multi layers of weathering, really well done. The, the faded stripe here on the, the left side of the helmet yeah, I mean, the, the little metal piece on the, the cheek, just all real, really beautifully done. I mean, I'm just ugh, stunned. And then to top it all off, super detailed interior uh, with mock electronic pieces. Uh, there's a full headliner in here. Some nice little pads here in the back, just really nicely done. So let's get this guy together. Like on this side is the actual battery pack. Battery not included. That's a bummer. I'll be right back. One hour later. So to access the battery compartment, you just remove the panel cover on the right ear. One Phillips head screw, access the battery, single AA battery, strike that, single AAA battery. <laughs> One hour later. Battery in. So we should get the battery reinstalled in the battery compartment here. Reapply here piece, just snap them, just tap on each side. And the viewfinder snaps in. Pretty good. And then you're also supposed to pop this little piece out here. Snap down there. Let's give that a go. Pretty cool. So you can see the sequencing LEDs on the, the viewfinder there. And also uh, through the range finder, there's actually, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but I'll get a shot for you. There's a little graphic inside, kind of like a crosshair targeting system that's backlit uh, through the LED. So a nice little touch. Uh, I don't know how practical that is. Just looking at where it's placed, my guess is when you have the helmet on, you probably don't even see that. So uh, that being said, I think that's a good segue to actually try it on. So. Not bad, huh? And yeah, like I thought, the rangefinder is so far out of your peripheral vision. You don't even see it when it's down. And what can I say about this besides, wow, Empire being my favorite movie, growing up as a kid, Boba Fett obviously being one of the more famous characters coming out of that movie. To have a mass-produced toy replica that really captures in my view, the essence of a Boba Fett helmet at an affordable price point is quite an accomplishment. So well done to Hasbro. Now, for those who are wondering, if you're a higher-end prop collector and you're thinking about purchasing one of these as a, your Boba Fett piece, I would say if you're looking for something that's akin in quality to an RS Prop Masters or an EFX Collectibles, this probably isn't the piece for you. It's very nice. The weathering is well done, I think, but it's not a high-end prop replica. You know, that's not me putting the piece down. It is saying it is what it is. It's kind of an idealized version of the helmet. They took a 3D scan. They obviously made it symmetrical uh, for ease of assembly. Some of the functionality they added, like with the rangefinder, the rangefinder piece is way too thick. 
The paint job is beautiful for a mass produced piece that probably went through a factory. Uh, I'm blown away by how they were able to achieve the effect that they were. Again, multiple layers of weathering, all which really capture kind of that Boba Fett essence. The decals, the metal piece on the cheek. Uh, I mean, it's even got, there's like molded damage into the, the helmet, like the hard plastic itself. You got that famous blaster mark in the brow. Uh, there's little, there's little parts that probably don't show up on the camera too well, but there's like little indentations in the helmets. It's really a well done piece. Just to be fair, for the price point this comes at, this is an amazing deal. I mean, if you're not looking to get into the 500 first, you just want something either you can wear like on Halloween or something you can put on a shelf as a display piece, I can't recommend this enough. This is absolutely amazing, especially given the price point compared to some of the higher end prop replicas. As I've mentioned in previous videos, it's a really exciting time to be a collector with some of the major toy companies starting to take notice that there are uh, collectors out there who prefer something a little bit more screen accurate and are willing to pay a slightly higher price than kind of your standard off the shelf kind of toy lines. And I I'm really happy I picked this up. I think this is gonna be a great display piece just to go on a shelf and, and show people a Boba Fett helmet. So Hasbro, well done. Uh, look forward to seeing what they come up with next. So that's gonna be it for today's video, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.